30% of the world's cobalt, diamonds, gold, and iron are in Africa. Africa also has huge wealth in oil. Nigeria produces more than 2.5 million barrels of oil per day. On the global market, one barrel is worth around $52. You can do the maths, but you get the idea. Nigeria's oil is worth a lot. When we hear words like superpower and world powerful countries, what countries comes in mind? Countries like the United States, Russia, and China definitely comes in mind. There is an European kid who think with the African natural resources, Africa can take over the superpower title soon. Let's watch this video from a kid called Nicholas Wills. I'll be back. In my lifetime, Africa will become a superpower in wealth. What do you think of when you think of Africa? Do you think of starving people eking out a living in mud huts, in great poverty and deprivation? Do you think of strange tribal battles and incurable tropical diseases? Do you think of European empires? In short, do you think that Africa faces serious social and economic difficulties and will always be struggling behind the rest of the world? That vision of Africa has some grounding in reality. It's true that only one continent is less developed than Africa, and that is Antarctica. Africa is a vast continent, but its countries and people are very poor. 35 of the world's 50 poorest countries are in Africa, and more than 40% of Africans live on less than $1 per day. Although it has one sixth of the world's population, Africa is only one fortieth of the world's economy. It's fair to say it is lagging behind. Illness and disease are a massive problem in Africa. South Africa has 7.1 million people living with HIV AIDS. Malaria is the most common disease in Africa, with around 360 million Africans suffering from malaria every year. One other disease which recently made the headlines is Ebola, which broke out uncontrollably from 2014-2016. Over 11,000 people died. Another big player in Africa's poverty problem is the dark history of imperialism. In the 19th century, Europe not only ransacked the continent of money and resources, but also people. 12 million Africans were taken to slavery and shipped across the Atlantic. Even today, the poorest African countries are the ones that have the most slaves taken. So it is true that Africa faces both social and economic difficulties, which we do not face here in the West, and these contribute to Africa's ongoing poverty. But I want to tell you today that Africa has the resources, the ability, and the people to grow into an economic superpower. It is the richest continent already in terms of natural resources. 30% of the world's cobalt, diamonds, gold, and iron are in Africa. Africa also has huge wealth in oil. Nigeria produces more than 2.5 million barrels of oil per day. On the global market, one barrel is worth around $52. You can do the maths, but you get the idea. Nigeria's oil is worth a lot. Africa already has a booming pharmaceutical industry, and huge progress is being made in fighting back against disease and infections in African countries. More and more African children are going back into school and are being provided with education and improving hygiene practices, which help with stopping the spread of disease. Africa is ideally located for global dominance in trade, with close trading connections to Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. The east coast of Africa has access to the Indian Ocean, which, with the ongoing rise of the Chinese and Indian economies, could become the new center of global trade. And unlike many countries in the West, including Britain, Africa is not saddled with debt. The British debt is 87% of the British GDP, while the African debt is only 9% of their GDP. All but two countries in Africa could pay off their debt within one year. So the potential is already there, and the growth is already beginning. Even now, Africa is the continent in the world with the fastest economic growth. The GDP per capita of sub-Saharan Africa is expected to rise by 800% from 2020 to 2050. 
Anyone who doubts that Africa can make quick economic progress like this should look at the economic history of the US. In 1977, the US economy was the same size as the African economy is today. And since then, the American economy has grown by a massive $18.419 trillion. And with Africa having more natural resources than the US, its progress in the next 40 years could be even more spectacular. So if you are someone here today who thinks that Africa will never catch up with the rest of the world, I want to say that you will be proved wrong. With its mammoth population, massive potential, and amazing stores of resources, within your lifetime, Africa will become an economic superpower. Thank you. I love what you said. In our lifetime, one day, Africa will become world superpower. And that is what we have been dreaming. That is what we have been dreaming because Africa has so much potential. Africa has the resources, both human resources and natural resources. We have everything to be great, but what is left is the will to sit up and say, no, we don't want Africa to be in this mess. What we will do is start taking measures that will improve the lives of Africa. That will improve the life of the people who are willing to make Africa great again. One thing I think Africa should do is we have to encourage our youth to have confidence in the continent. And before you can convince the youth that this continent can become great, some leaders have to go. Because the puppet leaders are not willing to give up their power. They are not willing to give up their power. They only works for their puppet masters. So a lot of things are happening in Africa that is really not making sense. But with determination, I know Africa will become great. Africa will become what we have all been dreaming of. Africans should not look down on the continent. We have to have confidence because one thing we should know, one thing we should know is that if you talk down on your own continent because you are living in Europe, remember, an European don't see you as one of their own. And Europeans see you as an immigrant. So one day, in case something happens, they will bounce you back to your continent. So it's about time Africans realize that whatever happening in Africa, we shouldn't talk down on our continent. Let's be proud. Let's stay together. And let's make sure Whatever problems facing Africa, the new generation can have plan to solve this, these problems. Most of our old leaders have been compromised. So it is making things difficult for Africans to succeed. All our natural resources are being taken away or are being given to Western countries for free. It's about time Africans sit up and say, enough is enough. Let's use the remaining of our resources to better our continent. That is what the kid is saying. Even though a lot of Africans have said the same thing. He's not saying anything that is different from what we have already said. But coming from a Caucasian kid 
it also makes it a little well received so it's about time africans we sit up and make sure we change our situation before our situation change us please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime i upload any great content you will be notified thanks for watching